Okay, so we are revisiting the Husqvarna TS 348XD once again. This lawnmower is a great lawnmower, um, but we've had issues with the deck, and not necessarily the deck as much as the user, but anyway, we have problems again. Check this out. So, in my previous video, one of my previous videos, I, uh, I fixed this a couple of times, and this time, wow. Um, the, uh, the rubber chute attaches there. That was just spot welded, so that's easily fixable. Uh, we see that the roller wheel has been broken off. When this deck was new, it had a bar that kind of went around here and attached there, and that was broken off. I welded a half-inch rod on there. That was broken off, and I'm like, well, I'm done doing that. And I did a little welding over there. And so this time, whatever he hit, he hit it pretty hard, bent the, bent the blade. You'll see the whole spindle is, is loose. So I'm taking this video because I'm hauling this whole thing off to my father-in-law, who happens to be a metal fabricator and just a super smart guy when it comes to metal fabrication and welding and, and that. So we're going to take it to him and when we get it back, we'll take a look at what kind of magic he performed. All right, so I loaded it up on my trailer to get it delivered. And we'll show you, this is the, obviously the, the flap. And all I can guess is that when this fellow's using this thing, you know, he hit something on this side, he just assumes the flap's gonna just flip up out of the way. But, even now, even then, even if this does flipped up out of the way, I mean that that was that was exposed. So just getting a little too close to stuff it hasn't learned that you can't do it. You got to do it from the other side. And I'm looking down there, and I'm seeing, oh, what's that? Is there something missing from there too? And on the other side, I bet you there was roller wheels. We'll have to probably replace those too, because obviously this is broken off, and I've got. I've got one of these uh, in my in my truck right now, but who knows where that went? Somewhere in his yard. Well, anyway, <laughs> stay tuned. We'll get back to you. All right, so we got the deck off the lawn tractor. We flipped it upside down, and that piece that I thought was missing right here from the top is actually right here. Is it was attached to the spindle, and, and there we go. So that piece isn't missing. It just uh, was tucked up underneath. So what we're looking at under here is broke loose. Yeah, this piece is broken loose. It's obviously broken on the top. All right, and we can see that it actually broke here and here. This whole thing is broken loose, so. but I got the guy who could fix it. All right, stay tuned. Like a jigsaw puzzle. All right, so we've gotten the uh, the spindle assembly off. Uh, that actually seems to be intact but now this piece belongs here and this piece down there so obviously we can weld that in place and it looks like we have all the pieces but what we're going to think about well, what we are doing we're not just thinking about it we're going to be fabricating something to Maybe stretch that out, protect the blades a little bit more on that side.
All right, so we got the Husqvarna TS348 XD back from the fabricator, who would also be my father-in-law. And uh, let's see what he did. Put the flap back on. So we've got some nice welds. Ooh, look at that. That is a lot different. <laughs> so anyway, we got to get a new belt on it. We got to get new blades on it. So let's uh, pull it apart. Take the deck off, I mean, and uh, get a better view of what's going on here. You said he has a removable cover there, so that's a little different. And he had to refabricate that thing, so he sent me a lot of pictures, so I'll include that in this video. All right, let's get this deck off, take a closer look. All right, so here's a better view of it off the tractor and out in the daylight. So... Can see that he he had to weld all of this up and all of this up and he designed this whole thing so that if you for some reason didn't want to use that big fabricated piece of metal it's all bolted on with carriage bolts on the inside we'll flip it over and take a look at it inside and then you would take that nut off there and this whole side panel could be removed for if you don't want to mulch so let's do that and then we'll flip it over and take a look at the underside all right let's just loosen this up and see what uh, what it takes to get this off he primered it so there's a little primer on the threads Slides out. Oh, look at that! Pretty cool. And then give that big opening for throwing the grass out. When oh, and there's a okay. That's a, that's a carriage bolt. That'll come out of there. And there it is. All right, let's get the blades on and the belt on. Take a look underneath. All right, so this is the underside of the deck. As you see that we're going to be putting new blades on but uh, this is all part of the new fabrication held on with bolts and here we've got carriage bolts it said he designed it so that this whole thing can be unbolted and removed if it doesn't function as well as we hope it will he also had to refabricate this bracket here because that also broke is it that one? <laughs> I can't remember now. It's upside down. No, that's the one that he had to refabricate it. He said he added extra layer of steel here because this was bending. So, yeah, that's the one that he fixed. All right, let's get the new blades on. And I want to focus a little bit here. If you recall, this was broken off as well. He said he had to make a jig to hold everything in place while he welded it. And also this bit here was all hand bent and hand shaped. So a little bit of work involved. One thing that I think is a saving grace about when this damage occurred, uh, the spindles here are cast iron I believe and so they're not just the cheap aluminum ones you get on some of the cheaper tractors I know that they're expensive to replace but in this case they remained intact so all right so I got the new blades on and um, just kind of lining up the blades here where the tips line up I can tell these two blades over here really close so that's good but over here where the damage occurred the the tips are this is where the the work was done the tip was just a little bit off from the one next to it so it's going to be a slightly uneven cut but you know the guy that owns this tractor he's not going to care and um because he's pretty much mowing weeds anyway and he just likes to ride around in his tractor so I mean, if i swing around to this side the gap is about the same so 
At least this is level. <laughs> anyway, okay, let's hit some paint. Get some paint on this thing. All right, so it's not the prettiest thing. I ended up picking up this uh, Alice Chalmers Focus. Alice Chalmers Orange. I attracted supply. It was a choice between this or a Kubota Orange. This is slightly darker. But uh, so we got some paint drying here. And unfortunately, I dropped some dirt right on there off the flapper just after I spray painted. But anyway, let's wait for it to dry and get it all back together. All right, we're sitting on a tractor. We've got the deck replaced. The paint moderately dry. <laughs> it's not even that important. But let's uh, let's get the mow and see what happens. Alright, so just a couple of back and forth there, and I just want to take a look at if there's grass hanging up anywhere. Actually not. Look at that. I was concerned about that right there, but... I'm thinking we're in business here. And if we want to mulch, we can put that cover on there. But uh, I'm saying this is a win. Husqvarna, are you paying attention? This is something that you can use to fix these um, fabricated decks that eh, uh, operator error is an issue though anyway. So anyway, there we go. We are done fixing the uh, TS348XD. And we'll get her back to the owner. He can get to cutting his grass. I know he's itching away. All right, thanks for watching. Oh, oh, yeah, and one last thing before I return this. I'm going to move these wheels all the way down to the bottom hole so he's not scalping things. So.